welcome to Loving the Scriptures. I'm your host, your friend, Joshua Odunlade, and together we will be exploring God's Word to find insights, learn from Him, and to fall more deeply in love with Him today. Let's begin. Let's say a word of prayer. Our Father and our God, we say thank you. We glorify your name. We adore your name for how you have brought us here again. Lord, we are thankful because you have brought us here to bless us. We are grateful because your love is over us. Lord, we ask that your name will be glorified in Jesus' name. As we want to study your word, please be with us in Jesus' name. Please guide us and teach us. Lead us into what you have for us today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So today we are going to be learning from the book of John chapter 6 verse 22 to 27 and very quickly we'll read through that text and then we pick out some of the interesting points there before I leave you to meditate on the word of God. Remember, remember we have to meditate on the word of God for our lives to be transformed and not just meditate on it remember joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says that this book of the lord shall not depart out of my mouth but i shall meditate during day and night so that i may carefully observe everything that is written in it then i will prosper and succeed in anything that i do so it it starts from it shall not depart from my mouth so the word of god has to be on your mouth then it goes to It has to flow through your mind in meditation then it becomes action so if it stops at your mouth alone it has not really worked if it goes to your mind it cannot stop there it has to go into our actions as well now to the text John chapter 6 verse 22 to 27 I read the next day the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had only been one boat. They also saw that Jesus had not boarded the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone off alone. Some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor the disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, They said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Truly I tell you, you are looking for me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Don't work for food that perishes, but for the food that lasts for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set his seal of approval on him. Praise God. We see here the words of Jesus after a particular situation had happened. Okay, so you know that in the previous episode, we discussed how that Jesus walked on the water to go and meet his disciples when they were in distress. So apparently, you know that Jesus was the one that dismissed the crowd. So Jesus told his disciples to go ahead of him and then he dismissed the crowd. So apparently the crowds were still watching Jesus, you know. They looked at his disciples, they saw that they had gotten into the boat to the other side. But they saw that Jesus was still here with like on this side of the of the river with them. Okay, okay. They were monitoring Jesus and then by morning they looked for Jesus. They didn't see him. Ah ah they were shocked. There was only one boat and the disciples got into that boat so what happened how did where did jesus go to so they all got into boats and went to the other side of the river and at the other side of the river they found jesus there so they were shocked they were like ah, rabbi teacher how did you how did you when did you get here like when so they were very very shocked at what jesus had done they did not know that he had gone to meet them by walking on the water so there we see that they sought for Jesus, you know, they sought earnestly for Jesus. They, they, were, they were eager to find Jesus. But why were they eager to find Jesus? We see the answer in verse 26 to 27. Jesus answered them, he said, Truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs, but because you ate loaves and were filled. Hmm? So they were looking for Jesus just because they ate no 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 
let's let's check another translation maybe maybe this translation does not get it well so i'm reading from passion translation now it says jesus replied let me make this very clear you came looking for me because i fed you by a miracle not because you believe in me ha <laughs> okay let's read another translation just to be sure that we are having that correctly jesus answered them i assure you most solemnly that's amplified now jesus answered them i assure you most solemnly i tell you you have been searching for me not because you saw the miracles and signs but because you were fed with the loaves and were filled and satisfied interesting message must say something different let's see the message bible now it says jesus answered them you've come looking for me not because you saw god in my actions hmm. but because i fed you filled your stomachs and for free <laughs> okay plain english version it says jesus said to them listen carefully i know why you mob are looking for me you mob saw me do powerful things but you didn't understand them you don't want to know who i am you just want more food like you had yesterday <laughs> interesting okay let's let's read the international children's bible from that verse 26 to jesus answered are you looking for me because you saw me do miracles no i tell you the truth you are looking for me because you ate the bread and were satisfied hmm. you know that is actually quite interesting so all these versions say the same thing the crowd they sought for jesus not because they wanted to you know hear his teachings or repent they sought for jesus because they wanted to eat because they saw him do a miracle of food so it makes me ask the question remember that we asked the same question in the previous episode why do i seek jesus you know after jesus miraculously fed the five thousand their motivation and their pursuit for god became very very serious but it was not serious because they saw signs and they wanted to believe jesus it was because they saw free food and they just had to have more like i'm sure some of them called their family and friends probably by this time they were already like seven thousand two thousand more people just waiting to come and eat that's just an assumption too but their pursuit for god was based on food that will perish as jesus said so verse 27 now jesus said that don't work for food that perishes but for the food that lasts for eternal life which the son of man will give you because god the father has set a seal of approval on him so what what is this trying to tell us i can see from there we can deduce from there that there is a kind of food that will perish you know not all our motivations for seeking god are accurate are correct so it's i think it begs us to ask the question what is the motivation why do i seek god do i seek god because of tea and bread so that i will meet my needs or do i seek god because i love him because i want to learn from him because i want to know him because i want to eat the eternal bread that only him can give why do i seek god you know there is basically a a comparison now between earthly and spiritual bread the crowd were looking for jesus not because of the spiritual food the eternal food that i can give them but because of earthly food that will perish so jesus was saying see this food will perish but if you search for me because of eternal food if you labor for me because of eternal food then you would have something that would not perish because i would be able to give you food that lasts for eternal life now i have a question are we laboring are we seeking jesus just for perishable things are we laboring are we seeking jesus for certificates that will perish for food that will perish for relationships that will end on earth for all these things that are temporary is that why we seek jesus or do we labor for him because of the f- eternal food that he can give us you know many of us seek significance many of us seek influence 
power all of that isn't that also a kind of perishable food that we end here on earth i think it is very important for us to have an eternal perspective concerning our lives we have to seek jesus not just for temporary benefits but for a relationship with him we have to pursue a deeper understanding of his teachings and the roles that they will play in our lives so for instance if all you seek god for if all the reason that you want to learn to love your scriptures if all the reason you listen to this podcast every time is because you have a need that you want god to meet oh god may meet that need but that that is a perishable need that is a perishable food we should seek god not just because we want him to provide bread for us or tea for us or school fees or car or wife or, or husband or children or any of these things we should seek god because we want to know him because we want to have a genuine relationship with him the bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of god and all these other things you know it was jesus that said it by himself and all these other things shall be added unto you it shows that if we seek god god will give us every other thing that people chase after when he wants to so do we trust god enough to seek him for him not for food that we will eat or for tea that we will drink or for certificates that will perish here on earth i think it's this episode calls us to reflection this text calls us to reflection now i i I have a question food that endures to eternal life what does that what does that mean that that's in verse 27 it says jesus says now don't work for the food that perishes but for the food that lasts for eternal life which the son of man will give you because god the father has set his seal of approval on him isn't it amazing that the grace of god like this grace of god is so amazing because you know that this food that lasts for eternal life is basically the gift of god that we have something that we could not work for but once we ask christ he will give it unto us you know you can work for you can literally go to work and earn money and you'll be able to afford to buy bread and tea and go to school and all of that but there was nothing that we could have done there was no work that we could have done to be able to afford this food that lasts for eternal life yet jesus is saying that don't just come and ask me for food that will perish but ask me for food that lasts for eternal life so as we close this episode what i want us to do me included is that how can these things affect me i want us to examine our intentions examine our motivations why do i seek god why do i seek god why am i traveling across the river just to find somebody just to find this person god why 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 do i seek god i want us to take that question to heart and meditate on it also meditate on the text these people sought god they sought jesus but it was for the wrong reasons let's say a word of prayer our father and our god we say thank you We glorify your name, we adore your name, for you have drawn us to your presence again this day. Lord, we ask that you would be with us in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that you purify our intentions in Jesus' name. We say thank you for having answered our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I believe you have been blessed by this episode of the podcast. Please follow us on this platform or on wherever you get your podcast. Also, please share with your friends and family so that they can be blessed by it too. Till we meet again, keep seeking, keep searching, keep meditating on God's word and keep on loving 
your scriptures and keep on loving God. God bless you.